right, so today I wanted to uh, show you how easy it is to create a route on uh, Gaia GPS. I'm using the interface on uh, my Macintosh computer, um, and you can once you create a route on your computer, you can access it on your phone or your tablet. Um, it's all the same um, up in the cloud, kind of stored. Um, and uh, the interface is a little bit different on the app, but uh, it, it, once you get used to it, it's uh, super simple. So on your computer, you click on this uh, little symbol to start uh, creating a route. And what I'm going to do is uh, create a route from uh, Colville down to the top of Mount Patterson. This is a ride we did uh, last summer. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. I don't have this route in Gaia, so I'm going to create it, and maybe uh, go explore that in uh, a couple weeks. So we're going to start over in Colville. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in here uh, a bit. And uh, this is kind of the trailhead where we park um, off of Topaz Lane. Uh, 395 is off to the left there. And uh, it's pretty easy uh, to start uh, creating a route. Well, once you've clicked on the uh, Create Route, you uh, click your start position and uh, then um, I need to change the mode down here to driving and um, from there you can just click at the next intersection and uh, look at that it took a uh, it, it took what uh, it thought was a better route which is a little bit easier um, but we can take and uh, drag that down and force it to go on that route. It was thinking this is an easier route up and around this way because there was a paved road uh, there and sometimes it, it wants to do that. So it doesn't always pick the route you think of and you have to force it uh, to do uh, what you want, but it's pretty easy um, to change that around. So now uh, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit kind of uh, just pick a few points on here. I know which way kind of I want to go and um, zigzag down here a bit and go right up here to the top of Mount Patterson and we are at the top of Mount Patterson, which is 11,654 feet. Um, this is a super cool ride we did last year. Lots of elevation changes. Um, and boom, you've created a, a, a route right there. Um, and once we we're done, we can save that. Um, so I'm gonna call it Colville to Mount Patterson. I can't spell. Okay, so that's saved. And when I bring it up on my phone or other tablet, uh, when I'm in the vehicle, this will already be there. It just uh, wants, it has to sync uh, for you to grab it. But uh, that's about it. So um, you can see the elevation nearby is, uh, you know, 5,700 feet. Uh, and that's a bit higher than the start. So this is a, a pretty cool ride that, uh, you know, goes up 6,000 feet of elevation. Um, we can look at it um, 22 miles. Um, and a uh, cool thing about this as well, what you might want to do and when you create a route like this is I'm in topo mode. And I find topo modes a little bit easier to see the different roads and everything. But you should change it uh, to satellite mode just to take a peek uh, at the whole uh, thing and make sure um, the roads actually are in decent condition. Um, so I just uh, switched to the satellite with labels and then you can uh, get down in here and, and zoom in on it. Um, you can see this is a, a forced uh, service trail uh, right out of Ricky Canyon. Um, so that all uh, looks pretty good. Just kind of cruising through here. So for me, uh, the way Gaia creates these routes is super simple and intuitive. 
it's grabbing the roads where, where it's already in there and I don't have to go in and click a whole bunch of GPS waypoints um, on a different app and then transfer it over. This is in Gaia already and uh, um, it, it's intuitive um, and uh, it's pretty pretty easy to to create routes like this makes it really neat to explore um, so uh, we're getting up here in the elevation um, crossing through here you can see the terrains kind of changed and uh, you can see here um, that looks like a gate yeah it's an unnamed gate um, not sure exactly what's going on there, but uh, yeah, that's just another route coming up. So uh, here's a, a Lobdell Lake, um, which is high elevation, and then this last section here, um, climbing up, is uh, pretty pretty steep, especially this last section. You know, going all the way up here. So um, that that's it, and uh, you can change the different uh, map layers on, you want on here. Um, you can add these are the, the the normal ones. You can add other ones. The, the guy has got a new one for cell cell service coverage, which is uh, pretty neat. And uh, from there, if you want to look for other routes on, on the way out. Um, from what I've seen, Mount Patterson isn't a great uh, spot to do a, a, a loop. Um, you can go around uh, to the east um, from Mount Patterson, but it doesn't circle around without getting back on the highway. So you could come down around here, around uh, Belfort, um, Belfort's right here. That's an old uh, mine. Another peak here at 11 uh, 631, which is Wheeler Peak. You, so you could come down there this way into Sweetwater and jump on the highway um, and then uh, find your way on another route back. But you would have to get on the highway. Over uh, to the west, um, everything kind of just leads down to uh, 395. Um, and, uh, you know, that's a, a paved road as well. So that's it. Uh, pretty easy. Um, and you're all set, um, right, right there through the, uh, Gaia GPS app on the, well, this is actually the website on the, uh, computer. And when I bring it up on my phone or tablet, it'll already be there. So pretty cool.